Good morning. Happy Monday. It's time to start another week after our Sunday. So I hope you're ready for a good week. I hope you had a good weekend and a good Sunday. And so it's time for our soap. So grab your Bible and your soap book. Soap book and your pen. And I gotta get my glasses. And let's dig into God's Word and see what He has for us today. Today we're going to look at a passage from our weekend lesson in Genesis 1, 14 through 19. That's Genesis 1, 14 through 19. And let's see what the Bible says. And God said, let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. And let them be lights in the vault of sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, and that was the fourth day. So God did a lot. We learned on the weekend, did a lot on the fourth day. So he made the stars and the sun and the moon, and he made the sun to govern the day and the moon to govern the night. So what is our observation? I think an obvious observation is God made the sun, the moon, and the stars on the fourth day. So we can write that down. So God made sun, moon, and stars. And I think we can remember that uh, evening and the morning are a day. So God had a day. And then if God just said, let there be light and sun and moon and stars. Wow. God's powerful. And we know that but it's good to remember that. So when we read a passage of scripture like this, we don't want to just go, oh yeah, God did that. We just stop for a second and go, oh my, wow, God did that. He's able to do that. What an amazing God. So how can we take these and apply them to our life? Well, I gave you an application on Sunday that the sun, to govern the day, makes its own light. The sun is a ball of gases and fire, and it gives off light. And the moon is rock and it reflects light. And so the sun can remind us of Jesus, the son of God. The sun, S-U-N, reminds us of the sun, S-O-N. The sun, the light, reminds us of Jesus, the son of God, who's the light of the world. And he lights the world. He brings light into the world. And the moon in the night sky, the moon was in darkness. But the moon reflects light in darkness because we are a reflection of Jesus in our life. And I think that's a really good application to remember. It's worth repeating. So that when we live our day, we remember that we reflect the light of the sun, Jesus Christ. And that's the light of the gospel because he's the light of the world. When we're having a, a day, whatever that day might be, remember that today is just a day. It's important uh, that we take our time and we serve God today. But if we're having a bad day, remember it's just a day. And tomorrow's a new day with new mercy and new grace because we serve an almighty, all-knowing, ever-present God. And he's with us each and every step of the way. So today, be a reflection of the sun and share Jesus with someone. Let's pray. God, we come before you today and we thank you that we can. We thank you for your love and your blessings in our life. And I just pray today that we would be a reflection of you in all that we say, in all that we do. And Lord, help us to love people as you love them and to be the light as you are the light. In your name we pray, amen and amen. Have a great day.